the Arduino has this chip here and this chip is what we call the uh, microcontroller uh, which is different than the one in on the Raspberry Pi so this is an example of Raspberry Pi if you never use it before looks similar yeah, almost looks similar but this one here is using microprocessor not microcontroller uh, this is almost like a computer yeah uh, just a single board computer this is raspberry pi if you never use it before and you want to use it you can try so but this is not a microcontroller it is use a microprocessor so what is exactly a microcontroller uh, uh, microcontroller as you can see here this is uh, the uh, arduino uno uh, so this is its microcontroller yeah so the microcontroller on the arduino is basically based on the uh, atmel atmega 328p so this is on the arduino uno what is it mean by microcontroller is microcontroller is this ic here that accepts and executes uh, coded instruction for the purpose of controlling digital systems yeah? like uh, the one that i give in uh, the example in the project just now uh, the differences between the microcontroller and this microcontroller and microprocessor is that the microcontroller contains uh, all the ram the room yeah so in other words in this chip here it has all of the RAM, ROM, and then uh, what is uh, the all the I/O circuitry eh, plus the I/O input output circuitry. Uh, all is equipped in this one IC single IC package here, yeah, but uh, not. Uh, as powerful as microprocessor just a limited amount of uh, which is most commonly used uh, resources only yeah uh, so this is one is one differences between the microcontroller and microprocessor this uh, microcontroller here this atmel atmega 328p uh, microcontroller has 8 bits and 16 mega so it has 8 bits of three so 8 bits with 16 megahertz of clock speed yeah. uh, which is actually based on the uh, Harvard architecture microcontroller so this microcontroller here is based on the Harvard what which we call a Harvard architecture there are two architecture on microcontroller uh, one is Harvard architecture a type of microcontroller eh? type of architecture so one is Harvard architecture and another one is we call a von Neumann eh? von Neumann architecture von Neumann architecture uh, but this circuits here or this uh, Atmel Atmega is based on this Harvard architecture and uh, not the von Neumann architecture why because the Harvard architecture uh, uh, the program and data uh, in this architecture are separated uh, in separate memories and separate data bus uh, in other words all are separated uh, the data uh, the data bus the memory memory data bus to access the memory everything is separated so these are all separated while the this architecture here is combined all the memory the data bus plus data bus which uh, makes this architecture uh, can operate this architecture here the Harvard architecture here can operate every instruction at the same time which making it a more high performance uh, uh, low power and also faster yeah? and based on this also it has what we call the instruction sets architecture which is based on the uh, two architecture again which is one is what we call the risk architecture and the second is 
seats architecture the risk architecture or we call the reduce r is reduce instruction set set computer whereas the six is uh, complex instruction set computer so the same thing this architecture the atmel at mega architecture is using this instruction sets yeah the risk instruction set reduce which means one uh, instruction work will execute in one uh, at one time uh, which make it more faster compared to the the six here so this part this one here is uh, faster compared to the six and this is why it used this uh, instruction set uh, the reduce instruction set and also the Harvard architecture uh, uh, which uh, comes in 28 pins all together here okay so there is a brief introduction on the admin at mega uh, microcontroller and besides that it also have uh, what else uh, um, besides that it has a 32 kilobyte byte of memory flash memory flash memory flash eh? and then it has uh, one kilobytes only of eprom and also another two kilobytes of sram yes yeah, static ram static random access memory access memory which is used for uh, assessing the instructions yeah so executing the instruction uh, so just two kilobytes is used for that and then uh, the eprom just one kilobyte eprom is uh, is acronym to the electrically erasable programmable read only memory yeah, programmable read only memory electrically erasable programmable read only memory EPRO which is basically used for just for parameters uh, ni, parameters values the history data uh, which uh, why it is used only for that is because it has a long lifetime uh, compared to the flash uh, which uh, usually typically is about 1 million cycle compared to the flash uh, and the flash memory as we already know uh, is just the program memory to store all the programming code and so on uh, similar like your flash drive uh, your, your uh, memory cards uh, yeah, so the same thing like that just 32 kilobytes only so that is just the basic of the uh, microcontroller yeah, uh, of this Atmel Atmega architecture so next we look at the other pins yeah, inside this uh, Arduino Uno where we as we can see here we have this 13 from 0 until 13 here which we call uh, digital in out digital IO yeah. so this is a digital IO digital input and output pins yeah, there are 0 to 13 meaning that there are 14 ports lah. Yeah, 14 ports uh, which as you can see here there are also this like a curly symbol here uh, the curly symbol here uh, from here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 there are curly symbol there this curly symbols means it is the out for the PWM yeah? so the PWM out pulse width modulation so there are 6 times pulse width modulation out uh, uh, which usually this uh, IO is uh, can input or out up to 5 volts uh, with just 20 milliamp uh, of uh, currents loop and this is if you use for continuous use and with a maximum 
40 mg milli amps only so remember this eh? don't exceed the maximum and make sure that uh, you check clearly because the the output is 20 milli amps so some components you need to add resistance so that the, it is not uh, to make sure that uh, if the components only need just a few uh, and a uh, few currents few mp of currents only so you need to protect that device or that component uh, if uh, it's supplied with 20 milliamps it might broken like the led uh, the yes the led so that means you need to limit the current flow outside of this uh, ports and then we have the serial ports the TSRX here if you see it so this one here we call so this is why it is best if you have the hardware with you so you can play around check or you or you will get port nah? so if you just watch this video so again try to get the hardware so this one here is what we call serial port or the UR port UR port which has TS and RS this is for any uh, any inputs or any devices any components that requires a serial communication like uh, ultrasonic sensors and so on so that is the two things and then we have what else eh? I want to uh, we have this LED here in built LED built in LED which is connected to pin 13 and then the LED for TS and RS so this is the LED for TS and RS and then we have here the reset button if anything happen just click the reset button again to reset everything in case you wrongly program your Arduino uh, ok before we go to the power so we go to uh, this part here so this is the ICSP pin uh, which is not used for us uh, since this is actually to to bootload the uh, Arduino uh, but just I just want to say that the, there is this ICSP uh, or the in circuit serial programming lead, uh, reader yeah so this is for programming uh, for for bootload the the Arduino so this is the ICSP or in circuit serial programming serial programming uh, bootloader and then we have this analog uh, there are Z pin 0 to pin 5 so this is the analog uh, pause uh, the analog pause or the 6 there are 6 uh, analog pause here or analog input uh, in which also can be used for digital as well uh, digital in and out uh, which have ADC in it analog to digital converter lah. Yeah. analog digital converter 10 bits 10 bits ADC which it can convert all the analog signals received by it into 10 bits data for each port yeah, for each port uh, now we move to the last part uh, of the of the introduction which is uh, this part here this is for the USB uh, USB so I think you know this but it is not a micro USB eh? so there are several ways for you to power up this device that's why I, I save this part for the last so for example uh, we can use this uh, this okay so this USB port here so make sure if you want to buy the cable you choose this cable uh, not the the mini USB or the USB uh, the normal USB so which we you will connect it to this pass here just like that uh, this is one way to power up your device and this is the way for you to connect with your uh, computer 
uh, to the USB port of your computer for programming the Arduino. And then we have the second one, uh, which is the power jack here. So this is the DC power jack. Power jack. Yeah. Uh, which is uh, if you want to use plug. Uh, plug adapter AC to DC plug adapter uh, which is around so ni if you use the AC to DC plug adapter AC plug adapter the which is around 7 to 12 volts yeah. uh, like this one here yeah. so then you can just plug it in to this Port if you want to power it, so as simple as that. Yeah. And the final one, you have uh, these ports here. So we have the port for uh, power up your component. This is to power up your component. This is power out. Yeah, for the power out. Yeah, to power up your component. Yeah, which give 5 volts either if your component is uh, 5 volts then, then you use the 5 volts if your component require 3.3 volts so use the 3.3 volts so use this one which means uh, again choose wisely choose according to your components but again remember 5 volts this 5 volts here give uh, about uh, maximum 500 milliamp of current and this 3.3 volts here will give uh, about 50 milliamps of current only yeah so choose wisely that and uh, last one here is the power in so the power in if you don't want to use uh, the usb or the this power jack uh, you don't have a plug yeah, you are, or you want to make a full embedded system so you don't want to use this USB you don't want to use this DC power jack you can actually power up your device by using this V-in here yeah. so this is also you can use to power up your device so again uh, or you can also use this 5 volt also yeah. I don't want but this is this one I don't recommend this uh, so not recommended to use for input not recommended for input it's just for the output why again because this pin here will bypass the voltage regulator of this circuit uh, and all the safety measures present in the present in the uh, Arduino Uno uh, in other words, if the input exceeds 5 volts uh, or the 5.5 uh, in the maximum uh, upper limits, uh, the board can be damaged. That's why I don't recommend you to use this one. I, instead, I recommend you to do to use this V-in, uh, the V-in uh, power post there, uh, because it uh, it allows an input between 7 to 12 volts. So 7 to 12 volts here, uh, the input that it allow uh, but we recommend you to use this to use this battery here uh, so this is 9 volt battery so 9 volt battery or maybe uh, this one more battery here uh, this is a repo rechargeable battery uh, so you can also use this battery here uh, so this is uh, a recommended battery for you to use if you want to power up your device by using uh, the the this ports here uh, and then just connect your 9 volt battery to this header uh, automatically you can connect with the, your device and you can power up your device uh, and depending on your application uh, you can input 12 volts too uh, but make sure that the current value uh, stays around 500 milliamps only because uh, if it is exceed 500 milliamps it might broke the again it might broke the uh, uh, microcontroller or the Arduino so uh, I think that's it for the introduction of the Arduino I think I covered every part of the Arduino already so you can 
Uh, I don't know whether you can see it. So if you can see it, you can just snapshot this this uh, notes here if you want. Uh, and uh, recheck or re uh, read again if you want to uh, to know more about this uh, this microcontroller or this Arduino. Uh, but again, the best thing is you explore it with your hand. Uh, this is the best way to learn uh, hardware or learn practical skills. Uh, that's why again, if you don't have it, uh, try to invest a little bit uh, on this knowledge, this uh, priceless knowledge here. Uh, by getting one of this uh, board here uh, again if uh, the best thing is just directly get one that is related to your project uh, so think about your project uh, think about which uh, Arduino which uh, do you, uh, is suitable for your project and I think that's it so now we ha already have know all the uh, inside of the each of this Arduino Uno uh, and the microcontroller itself. Uh, now we can continue. Uh, the next part that we will cover in this course is uh, the how to to read the inputs, outputs, and uh, what happens if we have a public pause with mod modulation (PWM) in chapter two. And then we start to go and look at what happens with the uh, when we use with the analog sensors. How to read the uh, analog sensors data. Yeah, and then we go to the chapter 4 with the motor controlling and then the chapter 5 with the shift registers and then the chapter 6 is the communication interface uh, that exists inside the, the Arduino and how to use it and the chapter 7, second last chapter then we will start to communicate this hardware with the LCD display uh, liquid crystal displays and finally the chapter 8 we do the uh, we, uh, we do the programs for the human interfacing so that is all the eight chapters for this course here and for if you would like uh, to get one book uh, one more book uh, one book actually uh, just the real book the reference book for the this course, the, the one that I showed you previously is not the real reference book for this course, that is just uh, promotion for my book. Uh, the real reference books here you can get by uh, exploring Arduino tools and techniques for engineering wizardry by the Jeremy Blunt. Bloom, uh, Jeremy Bloom, uh, second edition to, to, in 2019 uh, by John Wiley and Sun. So you can get this book because uh, the, the lecture or all the tasks here is based on this book. So if you want to know some uh, tasks, as example of some tasks that I, I did not discuss, so I did not uh, show it to you, so you can find it from this book. And uh, I think that's it uh, for the, this first uh, chapter or first video uh, and if uh, you like this video as usual hit the like button and consider yourself subscribing to this channel and stay safe stay curious and stay joyful I'm Ikhwan may God bless you Assalamualaikum